Tested. Hi, I'm Will from Tested.com. Today we're going to print yet another mystery object. It's been a couple of weeks since the last one. We uh, printed a whole bunch more little test cubes. I'm using a new version of the Skineforge slicing software. So I think we'll get much better results. Stick around, see what prints. And after that, uh, check out our interview with Sam from MakerBot Industries, where I, we talk about the next gen version of the Plastruder, the MK5. We're running the Mark IV here. So uh, stay tuned, let's see what comes out. Okay, so the print job took about two and a half hours, as you can see on this week's episode of Copyright Infringement uh, Maker Bot Print a Mystery Object. Uh, we printed a tie interceptor, came in two pieces so that it could print you know, vertically like this. Uh, I'll glue it together in just a minute, uh, but that's this week's Print a Mystery Object. Uh, be sure to stick, stay tuned to see Sam from MakerBot talk about the next generation of the Plastruder, the MK5. Uh, for Tested, I'm Will. Thanks for watching. Tested. I'm here at the MakerBot uh, Pavilion. 
tell me what we're seeing here. This is a different plastruder or extruder than, than we have on our MakerBot at the home office. So can you tell me a little bit about the Mark V? Right, this is our brand new uh, Mark V uh, plastruder. Brand new design, not released to the public yet. We're hoping to release it in about a month and a half. It's got a few key features that are gonna make it more reliable, uh, more dependable, and just overall a better performing machine. So we've got some uh, power resistors instead of um, nichrome wire. We've got uh, a hand adjustable um, uh, tension wheel there, and just a uh, more reliable, more compact, all around, just a really great machine. So I'm really excited to, to have it out uh, to you as soon as we can. And it'll be available soon for us to buy and, and, and put in our own MakerBot, right? Exactly. We're hoping to release it in about a month or two. And the nice thing is it's going to be backwardly compatible. So you could uh, take this extruder, put it on your old MakerBot, or, uh, or vice versa. So it's, it's really going to be a great design. Very cool. And same controller and all that stuff uh, with this one? Same controller. So you could use your old electronics with the new extruder, or you could use new electronics with the new extruder. So it's going to be a really good machine, yeah.